In this tutorial, I want to do a simple video about how to select all records within a certain date range. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, make this my default table database. I mean, so we'll just select all from sweet CRM dot, and then we'll just use accounts because it's handy. And we'll just start with this and uh, see all the rows to make sure that executes uh, accurately and then what you want to do is put in your where clause um, use the date modified or date entered whichever you prefer and I'll just use date modified and I'm just gonna go ahead and give this an alias and we'll just use the alias up here to stay consistent where date modified and so one thing you can do is if you want to find where the date is less than uh, a week ago so you can do something like um, if this is less than uh, date subtract and then you put in the two dates that you want to subtract so it would be um, it would be now uh, minus the interval of one week or whatever time period you would like uh, in this case it would won't return anything because all of these are older than a week it's actually been uh, longer than that let's see um, let's do three months just to make sure I get something back oh, still haven't gotten anything back it works but so it's gonna be let's do five months. No, okay. Seven months? Really? Uh hmm. What was the date entered in this? This was one month ago, so I should have returned it. So why doesn't it return? Uh, well, when in doubt, what we can do is simply open our browser and go to W3Schools. And look for date subtract. This will give you a pretty uh, good idea of how to use this. Um, so I was using month where date is a valid date expression and expression is a number of info you would want to subtract from right now. Um, so perhaps I have this wrong. Uh, yes, I think this is the problem. Yep, so that returns everything then. So in this case, the date modified was after um, seven months ago, which is correct. And if I do less than again, it would be, let's see if I do one month, it returns everything still. Because then in that case, then the date modified is uh, before one month ago, which is correct. And if you want to do something where uh, you do it between two dates, you can do that as well. I'm going to copy this and there's actually a nice function called uh, between and you can specify the date range and we can go to w3schools again between mysql between operator where is between this value and this value So we can just say between between this value, which is uh, now in the timestamp, and let's do three months ago. And I believe you have to use and with that. Yes, you do. And let's see if this is syntactically correct. No, it is not. Maybe it 
didn't do the whole thing. No, it did. We need to use the right syntax to use near at line two. Interesting. I'm going to comment this out because I think it's getting confused. At line two. Write syntax near quotation mark. I don't have quotation mark. Uh, interesting. To use near blank at line two or two quotation marks, but I don't use that. Maybe I need to type something like that. Hmm. Let's look back at the example. Where column name is between value one, value two. Probably because this isn't a valid date and can only be used as a method to subtract. So what we can do is we'll just get the value of three months ago. So we'll just do um, date subtract and we'll type UTC now and then um, UTC time timestamp and then interval three month. And it's important that I show you, you know, how I'm struggling with this because it's important to see how something works and how some, when, what to do when something doesn't work. So for this, it needed to be two valid uh, date objects in MySQL, if that makes sense. So what I did uh, to fix this is that this date subtract function returns a date object in MySQL. And w the reason why this didn't work is this is actually a kind of an integer value and it couldn't compare it using between because there was two different data types. And I wish the error message or return was a little bit more uh, descriptive. Uh, so instead of three months, um, hmm, that actually should have returned more than it did. because our date modified was between those two dates. So, between now and a date subtract of now and five, five months ago. Hmm. Let's do one month, a year, nothing. Hmm. That should have returned the value that we wanted. Hmm, interesting. So perhaps it needs to be in, um, have these hash marks in front of it. Looks like it's commenting it out, but let's try it anyway. Tactically, it doesn't look right. 
happens when I do this? I have my SQL error. Try it myself. Huh, interesting. Well, this syntax must be for a different uh, database technology. Instead of using this, or maybe rather instead of using this, let's just type the date manually. So 2017, and then we want the month, and then the day. Let's uh, do the first, and then the day would just be the first as well. And let's see what this brings back. Still nothing. Very interesting. Today is the 21st. Well, syntactically, that is correct, and it should work as per W3 schools. Um, maybe I have the values mixed up here. Hey, look at that. So it looks like the lesser value must go first and the greater value must go second. Interesting. This concludes my tutorial. Thank you for watching.